Hello Sagittarius, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Sagittarius and Moon Rising in Venus and it will be from the 8th to the 14th of March 2021. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy or message for the week please. What do we have Angel Spirits Guides message for Sagittarius? Thank you, that flew out. <laughs> I've got the devil. I'm going to pull a card for that Sagittarius. Nine of Wands, Sagittarian energy. Okay. Message for Sagittarius, please. Message for Sagittarius. Oh, lovely. I love this energy because, you know, the mermaid, it's almost, you see the water swirling around her. It's a message of blessings. You are being held by the universe, cosmos, angel spirits, guides. And it feels in dealing with whatever this devil has been or is. I'm saying has been because it's nearly over. Okay. Message for Sagittarius, please message for Sagittarius. What do we have for Sagittarius please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Sagittarians. Thank you. Okay, three cards Sagittarius. Oh, look. Peace, I tell you know, peaceful resolution within the next few weeks, there's success. Isn't that beautiful? So I'm really pleased. I'm, I know this is nearly over. The Nine of Wands is. It's definitely nearly over. Um, so something that has definitely challenged you, it feels for some of you, there is some kind of resolution coming. Okay. So I'm going to pull three cards. Sagittarius, the first card is the issue or challenge. Second card is advice from spirit. Third card is your future outcome. We'll clarify, go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. Okay, message for Sagittarius, please. Message for Sagittarius. 8th to the 14th of March, 2021. Eight of Swords in the Challenge position. Six of Swords, nice energy. And we have Judgment. Okay, message for Sagittarius, please. Angel Spirits Guides, message for Sagittarius. Message for Sagittarius, please. Can we clarify the cards on the table for Sagittarius? Thank you. the death card six of swords we have nine of pentacles very nice energy Sagittarius and the judgment card is clarified with the three of cups lovely bottom of the deck we have the two of cups Okay, there is an energy here, Sagittarius, you have been battling with this devil energy. The devil energy can be an unhealthy relationship, can be a toxic relationship. Um, it 
in whatever context for you the devil represents instability can be a feeling of powerlessness in terms of relationships it can be manipulation uh, power struggle uh, being played like a puppet on a string you know it's that kind of energy um, can also be to do with addiction as well if that represents it can be also codependency difficulty in breaking free from something that was challenging breaking free from the devil because it is so alluring it is so attractive um, but it feels like something is nearly over and it feels like it's been a negative influence in your life something is coming to an end and it is coming to an end that's what the death card is saying you're being given blessings there will be some kind of peaceful resolution in the next few weeks it feels like you've been battling with this devil i mean it could well be obviously in terms of love which the two of cups can be this feels like new love but um for some of you it it feels in this situation you could have been dealing with a, a difficult relationship it could be a love relationship here that you've been struggling to move on from and the message is there's just one more thing to go one more thing to do one more obstacle to overcome and then you're done and it feels like there is some success resolution that's happening in the next few weeks so again it's interesting that i'm saying that you're battling with the devil because it feels like you've been battling with somebody and you've been battling to break free of them that's definitely what i'm getting yeah the devil can be a person or a situation but it feels it feels for some of you that you've been wanting to break free of it because it's just causing instability in your life now the eight of swords and the death card is the ending is definitely coming there will be the release but it feels like you're going through the process here of releasing from the negativity of what the devil represented for you and also the feeling of what you thought was for you what you thought it feels like this devil energy if it was to do with relationships you thought it was the right thing for you but it turned out not to be it definitely feels in this energy you're ready to release from it now and the ending is coming there's a definite energy here that the ending is coming even though you don't see it the end is very close the end is very close in sight so even though you can't see it here Sagittarius it feels like there's one more thing to go and then that is it the completion it's finished and it feels like that is a welcome release for you because it's something that has caused you a lot of stress anxiety worry um, yeah and I feel that there's been healing you know these cards can be healing energies uh stress anxiety worry but you're ready to put it behind you now spirit is saying that you will put the troubles behind you and it's a process but you're transitioning now towards better times calmer waters any anxiety or mental fatigue or depression or um, challenges that this has caused you there is a period of calm coming again and a feeling of empowerment a feeling of I mean this is feel-good energy as well self-worth self-esteem standing in your own abundance your own stability and security having gone through an unstable situation so the nine of pentacles is very good in terms of money and career as well it's also very good in terms of healing um, fulfilling or coming back to you in a way coming back to yourself you know uh, going through a period of healing a period of change a period of transition and fulfilling your potential once more you know embracing the transformation of you uh, this is a card of feeling empowered feeling stable secure abundant once more not feeling the lack but it's an it's a result of hard work the nine of pentacles 
hard work, energy and time. So definitely there is an energy of you're heading towards feeling good. And this can be standing on your own in your own independence. If you split from a relationship, this is standing in your own independence. There is an energy of heading towards getting the stability that you deserve because it's taken a lot of time and energy to get here. So it's a transition here, but you're heading towards this and it feels very beautiful. And that's what spirit is saying. There is real feel good energy here. Something is coming to a close. It's a powerful close as well. Um, it's interesting because something's going to happen here, Sagittarius. Something's going to happen that will require a call to action. But it's linked with bringing celebration and joy. So, so there could be some news, there could be someone new coming into your life. You know, the Two of Cups can be new love, kindred spirits, instant attraction with somebody. Um, the conversation flows so easily. You'll feel like you've known them a lifetime. You really will with the Two of Cups. Uh, it is connected soul energy. It is kindred spirits. It is heart-to-heart -heart conversations if it's to do with love romance relationships but there could also be some kind of communication coming here an offer or an invitation that brings you joy so it could be in terms of money career finances but something's going to happen here and this is a card of reasons to celebrate the winter's over the spring is here so what this two of cups is bringing in is this sense of new happiness, this sense of joy, this sense of reaping the harvest again. I mean, this can be an energy of reaping the harvest. Um, having gone through this period of winter and stark energies, I mean, I have Saturn and Pluto, cold planets, let's face it. Um, and we have Pluto here. And then we have this really warm, warm energy of, you know, this celebratory energy. So either some kind of offer and invitation that's close to your heart or new love, instant attraction energy. And it requires a call to action. It requires you to act quickly without delay. It's coming, it may come in quite quickly as well. There may well be some choice that you need to make here. Um, with regard to whatever is going to come here, but it feels very beautiful. It feels very beautiful. And it feels very karmic because the karma is the energy of the universe righting wrongs. We have the death card, um, which is about endings, and then we have the rebirth card here, being reborn once more in a new skin, you know, in a new light. With an energy of, it feels like something is, is nearly over and the new is beginning to emerge. So there's definitely an energy here of something is gonna happen here. Let's pull a card for that judgment card. And it's blessings. Let's clarify this judgment card, please. It's resulting in some kind of blessing. And it's going to result in some kind of celebration, feel good energy. Let's clarify this judgment card, please. Let me clarify this judgment cloud, please, angel spirits guides. So I'll do a couple more shuffles. If it doesn't appear, I will choose. Thank you. Yeah. Wow. So the nine of pentacles is a card of, again, two nine of pentacles. 
So this is a card of success, money, career, finances. This is also a card of you feeling good. This is the rebirth energy. It feels with this judgment card being reborn, um, ready to step into your light and release what's gone, let go. There could be some call to action or judgment that you're making with regard to whatever this Two of Cups means for you. But this is a card of you're ready. You're ready for what this Two of Cups brings, whether it's new love or some kind of offer and invitation that's close to your heart. Either way, it's resulting in some kind of celebration, reaping a harvest here, a Sagittarius. It feels very beautiful energy indeed. But there's just one thing to go. One thing to go that you'll know what it means. And then you're there, you're home dry. Uh, so I definitely feel in this situation, it feels very, very beautiful. It feels like karmic rewards here, the universe. Again, there's a lot of karma in this reading. The universe righting wrongs, the universe readdressing the balance. And it feels, it's, it feels like if there's been any ill treatment you know, karma is absolutely on your side. Powerful energy, Sagittarius, I have to say. But I'm pleased that there's two Nine of Pentacles that have come out because that, that represents healing complete for me as a reader. But it also represents success. Standing in your own success, self-worth, self-esteem. I'm going to get what I deserve. That could be in relationships. That could be in terms of offers, opportunities. Getting what you deserve. Okay. We have motivation. When the spring approaches, the flower fairies urge you to spring into action. If there's something you've been merely thinking about doing, they say get busy and do it. Very nice energy. And we have tree wisdom. This tree dryad will help you navigate through your current situation. Her flute can reveal insights and answers through the sound it makes. Again, maybe finding some answers or getting some wisdom on a situation. Um, or hearing some information that will just allow you to bring closure to a situation. Very beautiful energy, Sagittarius. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful, a wonderful week for you. It feels within the next few weeks things are going to change drastically for you. And I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, like, share and subscribe and I will see you next time. Thank you.